Oh my, it's that middle finger music. I can't put myself in your shoes. You feel what I'm saying? And you can't put yourself in my shoes. So some of the things I go through, you probably understand. And some things you go through, you deal with, I probably wouldn't understand. Okay, back at it again. You know, we live right here in the flesh. Danville matters. You know, we got the homie here, Rue. Rue. Shouts yeah, out yeah. to him, man. Yeah, um, man. You know, we got the young one with him as well. Oh, Say hey, Prince. Prince Jaden. Say hey. Shouts out to Jaden, too, by the <laughs> way. You know, he a, he a king in the uh, making. In the making. So, you know, it's a um, pleasure to be here with you, bro, live yeah, and direct. Man. You know, you have been putting in mad work, bro. Oh, yeah. Mad work. You've been grinding. You've yeah. been taking care of business, mm -hmm. putting on for your team. Yeah. Um, can you just get the people a backdrop on who you are and what you got my going real name for yourself? Is Rufus Simon. You want to find me on Facebook? It's Rufus Simon. But um, by, I go by the name of EMG Rue, man. Envoy Music Group Rue. And how do I pronounce myself? I'm a. Um, uh, 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 a artist and a rapper and a, a motivator and a picture painter and I am whatever you want me to be as long as ain't nothing negative <laughs> nothing bad that's slandering me or my team or nothing like that um, and I do music man this is what I do I rap um, if you ask anybody in Denver they'll tell you I'm one of the best you feel what I'm saying I am Mr. Feature himself if you're doing music in Danville, tap my line. I do free features for whatever. We can do whatever and kill anything you want to kill. It ain't no thing at all. Just bring your best. I always bring mine. Now, what are some of your inspirations that keep you dedicated to the craft and keep you pursuing your craft and keep you grinding? Um, well, you got most people who um, they do this music stuff. Well, they do a lot of things. They do it for the music. Well... When I first started, I was about eight or nine. And let me correct myself, they do it for the money. My hmm. bad. And I was about eight or nine when I first started recording my first song when I was 10. So at that age, you already young, so you don't really worry about too much of getting the money or having money or trying to find ways to make money because you ain't going through too many hard problems. Not me myself, I can't speak for everybody else, but me myself, I won't. I'm just doing it for the art. So when it started, I do it, did it for the art, and now I still do it for the art. If a payout come from it, cool, I'll take it. You know we're gonna take it. You know I got my little man here, so we gotta take it. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But um, I just do it for the love, man. And my inspiration is like, just being able to be that guy like, that people see out in public, they be like, hey yo, you was on such and such song or, or Bro, you killed that such and such and such and such and oh your mixtape was hard, bro. And 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 that's just my kind of inspiration. I just want to be that guy that people listen to music and my inspiration is to give inspiration. Hmm. Basically. That's my biggest inspiration. I just want to give inspiration, give motivation. Show people that if you coming from the struggle, it's light and the dark. If you need motivation, if this is what you do, do it to the fullest. And I'm just one of the guys that like all my life is just the only thing that ever popped for me was music. I tried basketball, basketball didn't work. Couldn't play football. Never tried baseball. Tried art, but want the best. Still do a little bit of art though. You see my picture in the back there. <laughs> and, um, but now, nah, um, and it just, music been the only thing that really popped for me. And it always just fitted me perfect. And whatever I did, I always been good at storytelling. I always been good at breaking down things that most people can't break down or, or, or most people find it hard to speak about. <laughs> I've been able to do that, and it's been a talent that I've just been blessed with, and I've just been grabbing by the horn since I was like 10 years old, Rest. 21 now, sir. Now, speaking on the music, man, you know, that um, better late than never, you know, yeah. that's what really caught people's ears. Yeah. You know, that's what really, you know, let people gravitate to you as the artist, uh -huh. you as the person. Yeah. Um, you know, the, 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 the story oh, yeah. that was told on that chapter of your life was yeah. simply just relatable. Yeah. Now speaking on this new project that you have out, right, man. Oh yeah. That <laughs> yeah. That's been causing a lot of noise out here. Oh, yeah. How did that 
project come about? How did that um, tape come about? Uh, it was, to be honest, when I first started, it was, um, I was actually working on Better Late and Never 2. And, and, and don't let me, and for people who ain't never heard Better Late and Never, go listen to it from track 1 to track all the way down, I think it's like 15 or 16. And make sure you listen to the bonus track. Uh, Shouts out to Ralph Jack himself. Because <laughs> he was the first one that ever called me in Danville and asked me for a feature before anybody ever did. But yeah, man, when it first started off, I was making Better Late Never 2, the sequel to Better Late Never 1. And, um, and what it was like, I was, I actually was laying back one night and, um, I had a conversation with my homeboy, J. Coleman. He EMG too, man. Y'all look J. Coleman. He got music out now too. Shouts out to J. Coleman, man. But, um, I was talking to him on the phone and he was just, he always called me when he going through something. He called me in general, but every time he going through something, he always called me and he let me know how he just feel like people ain't seeing stuff, how they should be seeing it or, and stuff like that. So, he was telling me how he just was, he was just aggravated. How like, he was always deaf for somebody and they won't deaf for him, man. And I was just telling him the same thing, like, and in the midst of the conversation, we was talking and we was like, it's so much better stuff we could be doing than trying to look out for these other people, but we just trying to be the helpful one. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? And sometimes people step on your toes and you're doing it. And in the midst of the conversation, we was like, so much time get wasted caring for other people. And that's when it came to me, time I was caring. Hmm. So like every, every mixtape I drop, I always try to have some kind of message to it. And time I was caring is a message that everybody can relate to because it's like, we all didn't waste time on somebody or waste <laughs> time on something that that didn't have to be wasted, but we just did it because of the kindness of our heart or we just trying to be nice and it just got wasted. Yeah. Rolling up on this perfect day My fingers stink Wash my hair before I go to work So they don't smell a sin My daddy go to church and they ask for me God know my heart and I just keep my faith for living